God in my wits. I'll never be hungry again. Gone with Wind, it's absolutely perfect because you're taken on such a journey. You're just thrown into their lives. You're thrown into the era. You're thrown into the characters, and nobody plays it safe in that movie. You let me on. You, you made me believe you wanted to marry me. Now, Scarlett, be fair. I never at any time. You did. It's true. You did. I hate you till I die. I can't think of anything bad enough to call you. The Vivian Lee character gets all the great heaving chest moments, but Gable is the king in that movie because he lets her spin wildly and looks at her, and you know everything that's going through his mind, and it is. He gets her. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. Sir, you are no gentleman. And you, miss, are no lady. You saw that magic of old Hollywood, and there's something um, that just unlocks that fantasy part of your brain when you see those images in that film. One of the things that I love about Gone with the Wind is that it's very much a studio picture, and you know, with extras by the thousands and brilliant costumes, and you're never going to see that again. As long as we live in the history of Hollywood, there will never be a time like that, and there will never be a film like Gone with the Wind. We'll have to make a dash for it before the fire reaches that ammunition. <laughs> suddenly get this enormous scale of what it meant to be in that war. But finally, what we all show up for is this investigative quality of the camera delving into somebody's heart. Kiss me. Kiss me. Watch. You know down hardly knows they think you. It was so powerful uh, back in those days particularly to see such a strong show of sexuality it's not that easy scarlet and animal masculinity you turn me out while you chase ashley wilkes while you dream of ashley wilkes this is one night you're not turning me out Those scenes with him were wonderful, and then that terrible, you know, denouement where she realizes she's always loved him. Red, Red. And she's lost him. Red, you go. Where shall I go? What shall I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn.